Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about Seagate Mobile 2.5 inches set hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. This video is going to cover PCB swap, PCB firmware transfer, PCB repair, fix wrong size error, fix SMART error, fix firmware break, fix service area corruption, disk data recovery, quick data recovery tips, micro soldering. For this particular case, the PCB number is 1008090-9471. The hard drive model number is ST1000LM035. Part 1. Printed Circuit Board Repair This picture shows the detailed information of this drive. Inside of the case, there is a 1TB 2.5-inch hard drive and a SATA to USB adapter. This picture shows the printed circuit board of this hard drive. Two common methods to fix the printed circuit board of a hard drive. 1. Swap the printed circuit board. 2. Repair the printed circuit board. Swap the printed circuit board. There are two steps to swap the printed circuit board. 1. Find the correct donor board. Two. Printed circuit board firmware transfer. The printed circuit board swap step 1. Find the correct donor printed circuit board. This picture shows where to locate the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to locate the printed circuit board number. Go to www hdd-parts.com In the search box, input the hard drive model number and the printed circuit board number, then search. The correct donor board is found. This picture illustrated how to do the printed circuit board firmware transfer. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 1. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our 
printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board firmware transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First. The clients sent in their PCB board. 2. We fix the PCB board. 3. We ship back the PCB board to the clients. Repair the printed circuit board. This picture shows the basic components and their functions on the printed circuit board. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own printed circuit board. This picture shows how to replace the SATA connector. How to fix a hard drive motor IC problem. 1. The bad motor IC problem symptom. The hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad model IC is one of them. The bad model IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad model IC. 3. Replace the bad model IC with the new one. Part 2. 
disk data recovery. Wrong hard drive size. Problem: the hard drive is not working, and the hard drive size is wrong. Possible reason: the disk surface is corrupted. Solution: reset the correct hard drive size in the RAM, not on the disks. The following pictures shows how to fix the problem step by step. Step one, edit the hard drive ID in the RAM. Step two, find the correct hard drive size. Step three, reset the hard drive size. Step four, access the user data. Seagate F3 architecture hard drive, firmware break problem, symptom, the hard drive stops working but still spins fine and no clicking sound. The picture 1 shows the firmware break fix kit. The picture 2 shows how to fix the firmware problem. For the step by step user information, please go to www.hdd-parse.com Former brick is a commonly known problem in Seagate F3 architecture hard drives. The symptom is the hard drive spins fine but not accessible by any computer. We designed a special kit to fix this problem. The kit is available on www.hdd-parts.com Please note, this tool cannot fix the problems which are beyond the firmware break. Seagate F3 architecture hard drive, repairing tool and commands. Most of the Seagate hard drives are F3 architecture hard drives. They support terminal commands. These commands are very useful for data recovery purpose, but they cannot be executed through the regular setup port. Data Pro Data Recovery Lab developed this hard drive repairing tool. These terminal commands can be executed through this tool. Seagate hard drive terminal commands page 1 of 4 and 2 of 4. Seagate hard drive terminal commands page 3 of 4 and 4 of 4. Disk firmware corruption symptom the hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive and even the software-based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason, disk firmware corruption. Recommendation, try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. Disk assembly physical damage problem Symptom, the hard drive makes clicking, buzz, or other weird sound. The hard drive is not accessible by any computer. Possible reason, disk assembly physically damaged. Recommendation, try class 100, clean room disk assembly repairing. Do not open the hard drive in any open area, like home 
or office. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk assembly physical damage. <coughs> Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board. This is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time it's the USB port is broken. And most likely, the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. There are some simple way to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different way to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. How do we cool down the heat contributor IC from the outside? Step 1. Heat transfer pad preparation. Peel off the protection sheet from both sides of the heat transfer pad, like the picture 1 shows. Step 2. Prepare a heat sink, like the picture 2 shows. Step 3. Put the heat transfer pad onto the heat sink, like the picture 3 shows. Step 4. Put the heat sink to the heat contributor IC area on the PCB, like the picture 4 shows. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board. This is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time 
is the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. Power adapter damage. This picture shows the two common damage points on the power adapter. The solution to fix this kind of problem is uh, replace the power adapter or fix it. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. This picture shows some basic pins and their functions. This picture shows some correct signals on the PCB board. This picture shows how the hard drive printed circuit board transfers the data between the computer and the hard drive. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.